So remember when a couple months ago I did a video on why Shin Godzilla could either be the greatest Godzilla movie of all time or could suck? I really enjoy the quality of that video. So I'm deciding to uh, do a sequel to it based around Godzilla King of the Monsters. And uh, I didn't do it for the anime because that's that gay shit. You know I don't fuck around with that gay shit. Alright, so let's start off with the five reasons why Godzilla 2, King of the Monsters, could be terrible. Problem number one. Godzilla and the others could have no screen time. The same problem from the first movie could rear its head. There's not a lot to say, however, but after the King Kong film, I have the fate that it just might be just the right amount of screen time to convey the point and the plot of the message. Number two, a feminist agenda. I'm surprised no one's pointed that out, and I'm not saying that as a bad thing or whatever. I'm saying even if you agree with it or not, it'll destroy all potential discussions of this movie. You know? So, there's, nothing, there's not a lot to worry about aside from two, having two female main leads. Number three is that it tries to be Destroy All Monsters. Now this is going to go into some spoilers here. So according to a leaker, that he says that there will be a scene where Ghidorah calls upon the other monsters and uses them to destroy the cities of the Earth. And now that is a good idea, but that's not what, what should be the final movie. If anything, I should say all these monsters should attack one city, but Godzilla won't fight them, he'll just fight the other ones. I made a uh, very crude video short that I'll play right now about what I think that uh, scene could look like of all the monsters under Ghidorah destroying the cities. Enjoy that? Well, alright, now let's go on to number four. It kills off the monsters with no regard at all. 
Now, this is a uh, concern that has been formed by mainly the Transformers movies. The Transformers movies kill off a lot of characters, and, you know, it just, without any fanfare or respect. But, uh, you know, I don't, I'm okay with Mothra or Rodan dying, it's just, I don't, I just don't want it to be wrong, you know, or just to be fucking stupid. You know, everyone, I think, down here can uh, agree with that. So, I think I've got everything I have to say about this. So let's go to the good. Number one, Rodan is not Godzilla's sidekick. Rodan is sitting over on the mountain saying, do you guys really need me for this? You know, I mean, why did they even put Rodan in the movie? Rodan is phoning this one in. But now it's time... As you just saw in that clip by Joe Bob Briggs, he clearly states that Rodan is phoning it in in the film Monster Zero. After Rodan's appearance in the Godzilla's in the Godzilla films is always a welcome one, but they started making him Godzilla's sidekick for a long time until Angerus kind of stole that role from him. Now, according to the the tweets, the director is a huge Rodan fan like me. I was such a huge Rodan fan. I even wrote a trailer and script for it. I don't know, it was pretty good. And uh, one of the things that vindicates me is that the trailer looks a lot like how that script wrote. So, yeah, I'm pretty happy about that. Number two for the good, Mothra is scary again. Mothra was always a powerful force of nature that is scary when you think about it. But she's so fucking adorable. Look at that. That is cute. I want that as a plushie, you know, but... Uh, you can't really have her as a giant hulking monster. That's probably why my dad never took her seriously. He especially hates the first Godzilla vs. Mothra. Giant swimming caterpillars. I love that part. It's, uh, it always gets to me. It's a little much when you can see the nozzle hole in their mouths as they're spraying that white goo all over Godzilla. I mean, it lo looks like somebody took a garden hose nozzle and painted a face on it. But still a great... And, uh... But uh, I showed him this trailer. He's actually scared by Mothra in this one. Uh, you know, they capture the right balance between creepy and cute. She actually looks like a moth, not a butterfly. Number three is Family Ties. The first film was about a father and, a father and son's bond. The Kong film had a subplot about a father being away from his son all his life. And uh, the character had a monologue, uh, the character played by Tom Hiddleston had a monologue about his father. A lot of these films have a message of fatherhood. And this next film might explore the relationship between mother and daughter. And for what the trailer is looking like, the, the mother may be the villain of this film. And that might take it to the ultimate place, you know? That just might be, you know, the relationships between father and mother and daughter, you know? And this may foreshadow a potential Son of Godzilla subplot in the future. Number four is more monsters. Leaks say that there are new monsters on the way, and that's just what these movies need. Every... because our, our genre has just been resurrected from the dead, aside from the occasional homage film like Cloverfield, Death Kappa, and uh, I'm assuming many others have escaped me, but, uh, you know, now that our genre is back on top, we cannot waste this, and we must take our time introducing our, our new generation of creatures that are going to roam around. I especially want Toho to try out the new monsters, since uh, after Godzilla vs. Kong, they're going to be introducing some new ones. Number five is Epic Battles. This could be the most epic thing ever put on screen, ever. This could even top the ending of Destroy All Monsters. There's no limits to what our imagination has put on screen before. We, we as Americans do not have the ec economic limits of a Japanese movie. Even Godzilla, the first films, even though they have great special effects, they were always limited by their economy, especially Japan now. Japan is always has been since the end of World War II freaking broke. You know? And uh they it's it's impacted their films. You saw how low budget Shin Godzilla was at some points. 
you know, so that is a definite uh, thing that we do not have to worry about. This could reach all fandoms, and, and this could reach a whole new generation of kaiju fans just waiting for this. This could be the most epic battle put on screen. This could be the most climactic duel ever. This could be the movie. The movie that spawns a new generation. This could be their generation's, I don't know, Star Wars, maybe. I don't know, maybe that's going a little bit too far. Are you excited for Godzilla King of the Monsters, or are you dreading it? I'm really excited. This is the film I think us as Godzilla fans have been waiting for. Not a fan of the overly emotional tone, how kind of sad it makes it look. Even when you listen to the music by itself, it's it's pretty epic, but the tone of this trailer, the way the actors make it, it's kind of moody, but from what the visuals have been showing us, this is the Godzilla film we've been waiting for all our lives. This was Elijah Blackman. Like, share, and subscribe.